Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Dad's Mrs. Things. In this video, I am going to tell you about uh, this SQL exist operator and SQL any or all operators which we use in Excel statements uh, rarely. Uh, previously, we have done many things about uh, joins and uh, unions and group by and uh, uh, many more operators like uh, not null is not null and uh, and or or many things so we'll go through the previous video to understand these things better uh, which are is in the our playlist sql uh, tutorial playlist in our channel so visit our channel subscribe our channel click the bell icon below to get notified when I mean, we upload a new related topic or technical videos so stay tuned don't miss any videos so click on the bell icon if your friends or colleagues who are, who are learning this SQL, please share our uh, videos or tutorials to them so that they will also get uh, these cl things clear by watching our videos, which is simple videos with a simple English. And we have clearly explained each and every uh, point which we have shown in this website. So help them by sharing them, sharing these tutorials to them. So let's start this video about a SQL exist operator, which is nothing but an exist operator, which is used to test for the existence of any record in a subquery because we write many subqueries like from this subquery you have to get the data likewise if you have any subquery if you want to check any existence of any record some queries returns the no records like is no no records will be there in the select statement some statements will be like that to check that if the particular statements give it this records or not is there existence of any record or not in that subquery for checking for First, we use this exist operator. Exist operator is used to test the existence of any record in a subquery. The meaning of this is this thing. If you're having any record in the subquery or not, we have to check for that purpose. We use this exist operator. Generally, exist operator returns a true value if any record are present in that subquery, which we are writing in that in that uh, thing. So what we are doing, this is a general syntax. We are writing a so normal query of select the columns from the table, table name. And uh, uh, writing a condition that by, by using this where class, where uh, writing the condition what exist and subquery. Exist uh, operator should be followed by a subquery. You have to write a subquery after exist. Like if, if there is any record in this subquery, exist, like if any existence of any record is there, that subquery then, it will return those particular records as it. then then only it has to print that particular thing because we are including a fair condition so this is a normal syntax and we are using a demo tape database is called products and suppliers here where product tables have product id and product name and supplier id category id unit price whereas supplier tables having supplier id supplier name contact name address city postal code and country there is no two and there is also uh, one similar item which is also supplier ready in both the tables because if you want to join these tables we use this particular format supplier ID. so this is like this example which is a scale statement returns to and a list of suppliers with the product price less than 20 and i am applying the condition also and i am using that supplier ID also like what they are asking uh here you see what I have written in this example. Let's select supplier name. I'm getting supplier name from what supplier statement. Where when I am getting the supplier name only exists. What they have to exist, this particular records we have to exist in that. Like uh select product name from products where products dot supplier ID is equal to suppliers dot uh supplier ID. Like if the products ID and supplier ID is same then uh, and also uh, the price should be less than 20 then only I have to return that product name i have to first return that products which are having a same supplier id and uh, the price will be 20 because why we are uh, checking the supplier id for both the things means we are the price should be in the uh, suppliers whereas products in the uh, products are in the uh, product table so we have to check those things first uh, I'm getting the product name of uh, some data is getting if there any data is on there then only I have to give that uh, supplier name as an output so we have to check that if any data is present in this subquery or not for that purpose we use this exist of before the uh, this subquery like exist if any record is present in this particular subquery then only you have to print that per supplier name from that particular suppliers likewise so try this example and you will get clarity I'm going to run this like 24 records I'm getting like we are checking if then existence only then you have to print that so we use this exist statement in the where class um, 
which is followed existing statement is followed by a sub query if any records in the sub query it will check if any records are there then it will re uh, returns it true if the where condition is true then only it will print the supplier names uh, from the supplier step we are getting supplier names so likewise we use this existing exist keyword and next here is one example which is uh, which is the where class which returns a true value if any list of suppliers with the product price is less than if price is equal to 22 this is how we can apply less than a condition condition may be anything like equal to or less than if the it is true then only it will reply the supplier names who are having a price of 22 so this is the same example as previous thing first try this is in your try it at dessert to will get clarity uh, on these things like why we use a uh, yeah, uh, try with other example which doesn't re report uh, re gives any records with these things like no records are existed that what will happen so check the those examples also like here is one record is there so it is true it will giving the data what if there is no record like i'm giving uh 220 uh, price let's see if any records are there or not so see no results are there there is no uh, results with the price 220 then it is uh, this return statement returns uh exist statement returns false so there is no uh, results uh, to print here with condition fails it won't print right even if the only if the condition true then only it print the supplier name their supplier names are many from the supplier tables but uh the sub uh, the price for, for 220 is not there this the particular sub query is fails it doesn't re re uh, returns any retrieve any data so the exist of this sub query is uh, false so the particular statement is not printing any supplier's name so that we can try many more examples to get clarity on these things and next we have other thing called sql any and all operations what is meant by sql any or or we are going to see any and all operators allows us to perform a, perform a comparison between a single column value and a range of other values to compare single column or also compare range of other values but we use this any or all operators so let's see first talk about any operator this sql any operator what will perform means it will return a boolean value as a result like uh, if you have seen exist of uh, if uh, any query we are giving exist existence of any query like it will returning any particular uh, records or not like it is returning a boolean value like true or false it will giving like the similar way we are giving a boolean value as a result while we are using this any operator returns a true when we return a true means if any of the sub query values meet the condition if you are giving any condition that means if the sub query is meeting that particular condition then it will return a true or otherwise if the sub query is not returning the particular condition which you are giving then it will return a false value like boolean value any means that the condition will be true if the operation is true for any values or in the range let's see this syntax then you will get clarity like i am writing any sub query here some sub query i am writing like select statement sub query is nothing but query which is having a select statement select columns from table name where condition i have given uh what i am doing means uh, i am writing another select statement uh, we, when we have to print this select, select statement means where uh, this particular condition where is a sub query condition uh which is nothing but column name operator any uh, I am giving select uh, and sub query. What we are doing means if the sub query is the range of is in the any range, that operator should be in that sub query. Then it should, it will be true. Like returns true if any of the sub query meets the condition. The condition which you have written, if that if that meet from the sub query, then this will be true and that particular statement will be printed. So operator should be must be comparison operator like operate the operator which we use here should be a comparison operator like is equal to not equal to or greater than or less than or equal to like this operators we have to use like all what is meant by all operator any operator is that thing and all means returns a boolean value as a result returns true if all if all of the sub query values meet the condition not only any not only one value or anything it have to uh, sub it have to meet the condition of all all the sub queries which you have mentioned it should be uh, meet the condition which you are writing it this is used with select where having statements this all is used with the select statements also where clause also and having clause also all means that the condition will be true only if the operation is true for all the values in the range for any only any values in the range for all operator you should be satisfy all values in the range this is a syntax that uh, 
is a normal with the select statement all syntax like select from uh, table name where the syntax all syntax with where or having like uh, select column name from table name where column name or by table we have to give and all and where we have to mention if you try this one example you will get that like i'm using a database for products which are having product id product name and all these things tries as category id and supplier id if they have a order details this is not order table but order details table where order details have order detail id order id product id then quantity is there this is a one uh, new table which we are using in this example here is the sql any example let's try this example what they are in this query they are doing means listing the product names from the products table what if when they, what type of products they are printing if it finds any records in the order details table has a quantity equal to 10 from the orders tables it is uh, um, having a condition that quantity should be equal to 10 uh, from that orders tables any record having the quantity 10 from the orders details tables this will return true because the quantity column has the some values of 10 then it will be true and this type of product names will be printed like you can see select product name from product table where what they are telling product id should be how, how what how to have uh, quantity should be 10 so product id of ela undali uh, how to be any from this sub query like uh, if you are writing any sub query any any of the sub query should if any records in this sub query like what is meant by sub query what you have written like select product id from Order details where quantity is equal to. I am getting the de uh, product details, uh, product IDs which are having quantity ten. If any one order are there, uh, that order we have to. That order is equal to ten. Now uh, quantity. If any one record it will give, then it will be true. Likewise, then you have to print that product name or from the product table. I think everyone got clarity. Once you will practice, then you will get more clarity. Not just by listening. Uh, only practice points perfect. In this type of things, which is like some complex, but you have to try it, try it. Then you will get clarity. Like any means, it is a sub query. It is returning a particular type of statements. If any, if any statements are given once during this net, then there is a product ID of only ten. It will be true. So uh, you will get a ten uh, type of records, only ten type of records. So you can print that product names. Here is the number of records which are having these things. If any, this one returns a true value, right? So like what is the things the product name will be printed is equal to those things. Done. Here, excuse me. Uh, list the product name if uh, product if any records in the order details have the quantity less than ninety nine. That will return to if the quantity column has more uh, some values greater than. Here uh, I am applying the condition is greater than ninety nine. Previously I have given equal to ten. Now the quantity is greater than ninety nine. Same same condition and yeah, I am using an any keyword that is nothing but any record in the order details is equal to ten. Any record equal to ten, then it will be, have to print that uh, product name in that output. So uh, this is the. Uh, Any keyword, not only greater than less than, also we can use here greater than a uh, thousand. We have given same same syntax. We have to follow, but the condition will be different in the where class or sub query. So next we have another example with the all also, where you you know need to mention that all. It will take all right by default. So this is the thing. I am giving true for that. In where class, I have to mention the true. In all this, we have to be true, not false. To display all the products, like select all, we have to write here. Select all products in product name. Where condition is true, we have to follow this particular syntax. Other uh, by not giving all it uh, this where condition, we can give it in the select all, select only, select all product names from products. Uh, where true, no condition we, we are giving. So whenever it will have. Product name, so print that product name. All seventy-seven product names are given. So some different syntax we have to remember for this all operator. And next, what if uh, you have to print the product name if all the records and all the details have the quantity equal to ten? 
it uh, this will of course return a false value but because the quantity column has many different values not only the value of 10 but different values are there not only the quantity of 10 so it will give false um, so let's see what type of uh, printing here is the output like you can see no records are there what they are asking in this sub query which we are getting they are telling that quantity 10 should be all all records which are returning should be quantity of 10 they are not all the records are 10 anyone may be 10 but not all these uh, records are 10 so the query will be false and so on so that this where condition is false and no, not is even in printing anything here so no product name is printing here so likewise the things will go on by using this all operator all operator is something different from any operator you can check it now check it once and uh, you have to apply these things uh, in the in by practicing you will get all these things the basic difference is that these are two boolean uh, re returns a boolean values it is true if any one of the subquery meets the condition uh, whereas all operator should have to uh, meet all the subqueries should have to meet the condition any one or all so the name itself gives us the clue that what it is going to perform, right? So that's all for today. Uh, we have seen existing keyword and any and all operators. So how to do the things with these operators and how to uh, write the subqueries uh, related to uh, based on the condition we have seen. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up below. If you have doubts or regarding to these tutorials or basic tutorials of any particular topic, you can feel free to comment in the comment section. So we will definitely reply to you. And if you want to give any suggestions for us, any videos do you want, you can feel free to comment in the comment section. So we will definitely take your suggestions and we will try to implement those things. So bye bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon.